<laughs> Hell yeah, baby, got that W. Technically, we're eliminated, so losing this one in regulation overall would have actually been better for the Devils. But I'll take the Vibes W, the boys feeling good, us feeling good with a win. Winning the series series versus the season series versus the Leafs obviously feels good. 6-5, um, New Jersey Devils over the Toronto Maple Leafs in Toronto. Uh, what is that? We beat them twice in Toronto and then lost the one home game in typical 2023-24 Devils fashion. And in even more typical 2023-24 Devils fashion, we gave up the first goal. But we won, and we scored in the third period a couple times, and I'm going to try and remember every single one of these goals from this game, but there was a good amount, 11 in total in regulation, and the play was fairly loosey-goosey. Uh, I talked about it a bunch on the broadcast, you know, from a fan, ex actually, you know, for 11 goals, I actually felt like it wasn't the craziest, most entertaining game. It really felt like a lot of just some botched plays and just quick snap goal type setups. Obviously, half of our goals came on the power play. And, yeah, it wasn't, I don't know, maybe it was just my investment in the game being out of the playoffs and just, you know, just watching uh, to be able to provide you guys my, my thoughts and feedback on the game. But it didn't really feel like the most exciting, you know, at least as far as 11 goals would tend to lead you to believe that the game to be. Again, maybe that was just uh, uh, me being not as invested, being out of playoffs and all that. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. That, that was just my initial reaction. But uh, I don't want this video to go on too, too long. Uh, so let's go ahead and at least touch on all the goals as far as I can remember them. Um, hopefully give a little bit of individual player breakdown at the end as usual and uh, call it from there. So yeah, first goal, of course, the Devils give it up like a handful of seconds into the game as John Tavares makes it one nothing Toronto. Uh, essentially, Marner made a, a great play there in the neutral zone against Marino, was able to prevent the dump in by Marino, sent the puck the other way. And actually leading up to that goal, I literally had the thought running through my head of Tavares is going to do this like silly... I thought he was going to do like a spinorama move. Allen's going to lose it in the um, screen by the Devils defenseman, and it's going to go in. It almost happened that way, uh, but Tavares does gather the puck, shoots it between the Devils player's leg, between Allen's leg, one nothing Toronto. Very quick, just like that, and it's like, oh boy, this, this is going to be a long game, isn't it? But then we struck right, right back and had ourselves right in it. Feeling good, good vibes. Most were able to keep the vibes good throughout this entire game. Uh, came back down to earth a little bit later on there in the third, but then was uh, sky high by the end. So that second goal there, the Timo line. Uh, Timo had himself an absolute game and talking about him a good amount the past few. I've said, you know, uh, from his insane stretch, I was scoring a goal, it felt like every single game. Uh, to having a couple down games, I really only felt like one of them was really a truly down game. Uh, to the last game where he, uh, I felt like was a bit more Timo-esque, but not true takeover in this one. I felt like we got that Timo we paid for. Uh, he came barreling in. He had a great board play. Puck gets knocked out front. Great pinch in by Ball to keep the puck alive. And again, great board play down deep by him there as the defenseman. Puck shoots out to Halla, who took over the point for Ball, so who left him in that position to gather that rebound. And it is 1-1 in the game as he gets it past Sansonoff, who had a fairly rough one in this one. I mean, both goaltenders will probably tell you this was not their ideal game by any means. From there, we actually ended up taking the lead. Uh, I believe this one was... Was this one the first Timo Meyer power play goal to make it 2-1 off of the beautiful pass there uh, by Bratt? Nice setup for him uh, there. Uh, then we had the, I think it was the Nolan Foot uh, from Giordano with the amazing assist setup uh, from behind the Leafs blue line, giving the puck right to Foot, who does the amazing deke uh, forehand backhand, puts it in. Um, I wanted to say uh, great for him to get that goal there, uh, 40 goal pace on the season. Uh, getting back into the lineup, only a second game after injury after injury, keeping him out almost all season. I'm assuming uh, almost surely personal stuff outside of the rink with his brother. We're not going to get into. We are 
as Devils fans, very aware of that entire situation. But yeah, just you know, great to see him be out there, effective, and get on the score sheet with a goal off of a great dangle and move from him there on the ice. Um, Toronto did not waste too much time. I know they had a couple goals. We had, again, just 11 goals. I tried and get these recordings done right after the game without watching anything and just going off the dome. I know we had the uh, Matthews goal as well. Just absolute breakdown in defensive play. Uh, forwards thought the puck was going away, so the three forwards started skating up ice. Toronto keeps the puck in, and then it's quickly, it goes back down the boards. Quick path over to Matthews. Team, I believe it was the winger there on him, was not able to disrupt the shot at all. And Matthews from that spot is basically automatic. Leafs score there. I think they actually made it 2-2 before the Nolan goal. But uh, anywho, uh, the Leafs end up also tying it up. Uh, that one was, I think, the camp goal uh, where Smith has the hit along the boards. Uh, basically took himself and a Leaf player out, but as the defenseman, he was a bit more important there. And instead, the puck wraps behind the net. They were pass the puck to a lone Leaf there in front. Pretty sure it was Camp, uh, who does not miss there from that spot. And another goal for the Leafs, I think. That was number three. Um, from there, we had, what, the second period I know the Leafs took the lead uh four to three I think that was off of the Matthews second goal where it was a ridiculous domey pass uh basically just passed it into Matthews Matthews stick which he had perfectly positioned of course as Austin Matthews for the deflection net front right in uh to give the Leafs the lead four to three uh, Domi, I, I talked about in the last one, is a fantastic passer. Now, this, I haven't, I didn't get to see a bunch of replays on this. Now, you know, this is one of those things where maybe I wish I, I wait a little bit to actually try and get, get some information on these videos. But I, I know Nemich was up in Matthew's grill on the boards there. But, I mean, that was just a hockey play. I know it's Matthew's, it's your guy. But, like, Nemich didn't, like, hit him up high. He didn't do anything crazy. And I, it sounded like Domi just kind of jumped him. Now, Nemich accepted the fight. I mean, Nemich got 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 right I and mean, he got blew up blown up in that fight uh but don't me the fighter and that was not just first career fight and he got he got razzle dazzled a bit but uh you know it gave us the power play which led to the timo meyer uh end of period tying goal uh great face off win from nico one time shot great from timo there absolutely love to see it gave us uh all the momentum back that we needed heading there into the third period now um yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I actually expected McDermott to go back at um, Domi there at some point, but with the instigator and then the fighting and uh, being in the box for forever uh, with the game there, um, we by that point he got out, we ended up actually having the lead. And so obviously I, I think McDermott is wise enough to realize I'm not going to take the instigator penalty and give that least power play a, a chance to tie this one up. Now, they did end up tying it up uh, at even strength, but I, I understand not going back at them. But, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to look for a replay of exactly how that fight started. Was uh, Domi a good sportsman in, you know, the fighter sense of, I am coming to you, I'm challenging you, accept the fight, both drop gloves, and square up? Or did he just grab Nemich, not really give him a second, and... I mean, we, I saw the, the tail end of the fight, at least, and Dummy, I mean, definitely blasted him. There, there's no denying that, but definitely a bit of a mismatch of fighters there, for sure. Uh, you know, I don't think anything else comes of that next season or has a carryover by any means, but, yeah, you know, yeah, kind of a fight. So, we end up taking the lead. Uh, Jesper Bratt, uh, power play goal. Uh, to make it 5-4. to four. Uh, It was very close to a team of hat trick, but instead... Uh, Brett uh, does win that or gets that shot clean. Great pass from Luke. Uh, great movement. It's kind of Brett's spot. Samsonov, again, fairly rough game. I, I don't think that was a, a wicked shot. Yeah, we had the Timo screen for sure. Uh, so you can uh, maybe give that a bit of credit. But, you know, no deflection. I'm sure uh, Dangle, Steve will uh, rip that one or multiple of these apart for sure. Can't wait to watch that reaction bit. Uh, then from there... Leafs tie it up again off of the John Tavares goal. Uh, great setup. Tavares just has a great shot. 
uh, makes it 5-5 five, five with, what, like um, five minutes or something like that, I think was the Bears one. And then Brat comes down the right side, rips it, 6-5 lead with about a minute, 30 seconds left. We take a penalty, we kill it off, we finish the game. It was close. I mean, they had their chances, but overall, what, what's there really say? You know, Brat, great game. Nico always just shows up. The captain's been fantastic, um, really, since returning from his last injury. Uh, Timo, since fully recovering, fantastic. We talked about Brat. I thought Clark, yeah, third period, I thought was his best first and second. Uh, wasn't as impressed. I felt like he had a big defensive lap, which led to one of the goals. Uh, from there, the hollow line, I thought, was actually pretty solid throughout. Uh, Brendan Smith, I think, continues to be pretty good, although I think this was his weakest game uh, maybe the past couple weeks or so, maybe last month. Uh, this was not his best. Uh, in that stretch, Luke got absolutely beat by Tavares on the go-ahead goal by the Leafs there in the third. Just uh, got stopped up, got a gap created by Tavares, uh, creating that separation with stopping right in front of the blue paint. Got stick lifted as well in the same motion. Tavares is essentially alone in front there for that goal. Just kind of a learning moment there for Luke. Didn't hate it too much. Nemec getting into his first fight. Uh, got blasted, but hey, respect. Was talking to some boys, I'm like, hey... Of the two, Nemec is definitely going to fight at some point. Like, once that... It was actually right after the Mercer fight. I was like, Nemec, at some point in his career, is going to get a fight. He has been feisty as a rookie this year. Got into it with Marshawn. He has been jobbing at some guys after whistles. He goes that he is aggressive in the corners. Lo and behold, it was this game of all games for it to happen. But I don't think that will be his last fight of his career. Uh, Marino, I felt like, had a fairly rough go of it as well. Siegenthaler continues to not be as impressive. Ball, I thought, actually had a pretty good one. Uh, fourth line held it together. Was proud of them there. And the third line, eh, Holtz did not do anything to blow me away in this one. I don't think he really did anything to even ga uh, gain my attention, at least from the eye test perspective. So we'd like to see him better there. And then Allen, you know, giving up five is, eh, is probably a couple he should have had. But, hey, at this point in the season, is what it is. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the win, uh, and this officially makes it so the Devils will not lose more than three in a row, uh, as well as a, uh, it's already been official, we will not win more than three in a row on the season. So at least we definitely prevented the losing one. Uh, yeah, it's going to do it. Uh, I will actually be in Philadelphia at the Flyers-Devils game in person to watch that one. Uh, hopefully it's a good one. We'll see how it is uh, walking through the commerce there uh, and leaving the arena been there for a few games in my time but it's usually been with other flyer fans in this case it's going to be just me and the wife as devils fans uh, i'm not worried about actually you know anything physical or anything like that happening but uh, i plan on recording a video on the way leaving uh, so kind of like the one when i was in pittsburgh uh, probably will hear some heckling in the background but yeah uh, that will do it for this one we got two more games to go i'm going to be at one of them and then the season uh, ends at home uh, and then a nice long off season, I guess. We'll, we'll just kind of see where how it all plays out uh, and how I plan on going from here after these next two. But that's going to do it, guys. As always and forever, let's go Devils, baby.